What's going on everyone, Vampire Gaming here, and today we're going to be talking about these structure decks here. Depending on if this video runs too long, I might break it up into two parts, but we're going to be talking about all the new structure decks that are coming out. Uh, Newgate, Uda, Doflamingo, Purple Luffy, Smoker, and Katakuri, each one featuring the same leader but with a new art. Uh, in this video, we're going to be talking about all of the new cards. And then if I think it's worth picking up. Now keep in mind, I'm going to try to be as objective as possible. Uh, and try not to have too much bias. But yeah, some of these decks are just absolutely not great in terms of the content inside of them and also just out of the box playability but we'll also talk about like the cards inside of it if you, their potential playability so we're just going to kind of try to cover everything but so first up we of course have i think this is 18 structure deck 18 this might be structure deck 17 but uh it's the Monkey D. Luffy deck. So once again, kind of weak on the reprints here. But you do get this Pirate Party uh, 10, 12 promo. So these are like, I think they're like $8. So you get four of those. So that just automatically makes this a solid pickup uh, for us here. I think this is also relatively hard to get for a while in Asia as well. Again, this comes out in Asia in July. It's a lot later for us. Uh, mid OPO8 is when we get it. Of course, we got these new cards a new Usohachi, a new Onami, a new uh, Sangoro, a new Zoro Joro, a Monkey D. Luffy. So let's go ahead and take a look. So you got Onami, she's a blocker, very solid. And then on play, if you have eight or more, trash one card from your hand, then draw two. So almost like a reverse queen, but you don't have to minus Don. So you get that filter. I think there's a lot of potential for this in. Uh, red purple Luffy so interesting to see and of course it's a four it's a 2000 power so easily taken down by RP law but you do have that blocker going for you and then just cycle and replace itself so I think it's a solid card I'd give it a seven out of ten then of course got Sangoro and then he's a five six so this one also you can play off of the Luffy but we'll talk about the Luffy in a moment when attacking once per turn if you have Adamar Dawn draw one card so you can really start to gain value out of this if you can get him to stick on board uh, and you can of course play him if you go second you play him on your second turn which could be very strong assuming they can't answer it well, I, I give him I give him seven out of ten Usohachi, this card is a 2k, but uh, it's just a 2k. On play, if you have eight, rest of 20 opponents' characters with a five cost or less. So it does get around uh, Sabo. It does answer Sabo and, of course, answers Rebecca's. I think the regular Usohachi does something similar with the four, and you have to minus Don. Um, so this card has some potential, but I'm going to give it a six out of ten. And then, of course, we have Zoro Joro. You see how they drew him? They knew what they was doing. They knew what he was doing. Comment in the chat if they knew what they were doing. And then, of course, 4-6. Solid stat line. But then on top of that, on play, with the top five cards of your deck, reveal up to one purple straw hat crew type card and put it into your hand. Then, uh, place the rest of the cards on the bottom of your deck in any order. So, this is the first ever, like, big, not the first ever, but it, it, it's a big body searcher that you get to play, uh, and it's any purple straw hat. I don't believe it restricts you from searching him either. Might be mistaken, but um, I don't think it does. Uh, double check me on that. I tried to make sure I grabbed the right translations, but... There is the possibility that she can't add himself, but I don't think there is. And of course, this Luffy. So this Luffy is very strong, arguably. Um, we've got him, the Straw Hat crew, on play, Don minus one, play up to one purple character with the cost of five or less, uh, and has the type Straw Hat Pirates from your hand. Uh, so you play a Straw Hat with five or less, so you can play the Songoro. Uh, I don't know if there's a 5-7. 
because that could also be pretty strong but you could also play zoro and search so a lot of potential here i feel like in terms of the super spot it could have been better but you know if you go and ramp this early and you play this out they might not be able to answer two bigger bodies so you know i mean on your seven dawn turn you get to play 13 dawn worth the cards 12 dawn 12 dawn it's not bad i'll give it a solid 7.5 out of 10 and then we've got smoker uh this honestly i think is the best deck an absolute cop because you get four ice age and you get four suru suru uh they're about two dollars right now same with ice age ice age might be down a little bit but then you also get four brand new and then on top of that you get some pretty cool new cards the smoker uh sin goku sinjimin tashigi and then you get hina and this card So this should be structure deck 19. Uh, overall, super solid. I think some of the reprints are really good. Helps you get in. Uh, kind of. I feel like this is probably one of the most out-of-box playable. I don't think it's good, but I think it's the most playable out-of-the-box. I, of course, got Uncle Smokey. Uh, yeah, so Uncle Smoke, 6-8, uh, so solid stat lines. But then on top of that, on play, you may trash one navy type. It does have to be black. One black navy type card from your hand. Up to two of your opponent's four cost or less characters cannot attack during your opponent's next turn. So he's got like that white smoke vibe, uh, you know, preventing two attacks from coming at you. So if you drop this at the right time, you can stop two big bodies. This card could really keep you in the game and take off a lot of pressure. I think this card has huge potential. You do, of course, have that navy requirement, so that's the only thing kind of holding it back, but it is very strong because black, you know, you play the minus, you can hit pretty much anything, especially if you have, like, Kuzan. You swing Kuzan, you're going to hit up to, like, an 8. So I give this card a solid 7 out of 10. Uh, Send Goku on play. You may trash two black navy cards from your hand. If your leader has the navy type, draw three cards. So that's quite interesting. Uh, but you do have to specifically trash Navy cards, which does bring this down slightly. Uh, so you have to play like, the full Navy package. If this could just let you cycle bricks, this card could be busted. Um, but, you know, understandably, and you get the draw three cards. So he replaces himself all at a one. I give this card a six out of ten. And we've got Monkey D. Garp. He's a blocker. A three, four. And then activate main once per turn. You may place one card from your trash at the bottom of your deck. Give it to any opponent's characters. Cost minus one for the turn. So this is kind of like Blackbeard's coming out. So this activate main minus could be big for him. Uh, you know, TBD on how we all feel about Blackbeard. But I, of course, will have a video kind of talking about him. I think that's going to be my next video. So definitely be sure to hit that subscribe button if you're interested in that. And then, of course, we got Hina. You know, Smoker got that Riz. Uh, they popped off with this art. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but Dawn X1, during your opponent's turn, this card has uh, plus four costs. So, of course, that cost adding, making it harder for other decks to remove these and making it more expensive. So you can really uh, try to get this body to stick around or have your opponent overpay to remove it. And then also super solid effect. Activate main. Once per turn, you may place one card from your trash on the bottom of your deck. Give up to give your leader or up to one of your characters up to one rested dawn. So you can use Gecko Moria's effect on a turn that you play Gecko on the ten dawn turn to attach one and use both Gecko and your uh, the eight drop Gecko and your Gecko Moria leader effect if this body stuck the turn prior, which is pretty easy considering you can make it an eight cost. So. 10 out of 10 card. 10 out of 10 card. They really popped off with this one. And then Tashigi, uh, black character, 5, 6, uh, has counter. On play, if your leader is Smoker, give it to one of your opponent's characters, minus 4, uh, cost this turn. And then activate main once per turn. If, uh, if it is a turn this character is played, place up to one of your opponent's characters uh, with the cost of 0 uh, into its owner's trash. And then so this card gets around the blockers, gets around Sabo. Absolutely strong. Only good for Smoker. 10 out of 10 for Smoker. 0 out of 10 for everything else. 
you know Uncle Smokey is what it is. But yeah, this card's absolutely phenomenal. I do love the Smoker deck. At the end, we'll kind of recap and just talk about uh, if you should pick these decks up. We've got Katakuri. And so he's got, again, pretty mid reprints. Like, you got Peckhams. You got Pudding. But none of these cards are actually of anything of value. You know, we expected maybe 7 Mom reprint. Maybe Borsalino reprint. Maybe Nami reprint. But we did not see any of those. So, assuming we get some more decent cards in the reprint premium booster... But, yeah, we got some pretty strong cards here. You got a new 6 Mom, a new 5 Katakuri, which turns out to be Black Yellow Ace support. And you get Thunderbolt and Ivanka Sovereignty. But, yeah, let's go ahead and dive in. So, we've got Brule. Uh, it's a 2,000 counter. So, it's a 2K. And then Trigger, look at the top or card of your opponent's, of you or your opponent's life. And put it back on the top or bottom of life. Then add this card to your hand. So you pretty much just get to... It triggers and you get to view life for free. So I give this card a solid 7 out of 10. Uh, it's a yellow that just lets you look at their stuff and gives you a 2K. And then, of course, you can manipulate life as well. Then we've got Charlotte Cracker. He's a 4-5. Once per turn, when this character would be KO'd by an effect, you may trash... You may instead trash the top card of your life. And then trigger, you may trash one card from your hand, play this card, so you get to play him. He's got counter, and then uh, you can kind of try to have a sticky body. I think this is a 0 out of 10 card for Cut Curry. But, maybe maybe not. Maybe not, because you can use this to kind of have a body that sticks if you need to to go for games. So this could come up. Maybe it's like a 2 of. But, once per turn, it's okay. And then you have an L, which I think this card is really good in because you just trash your last life, you replace it type vibe, and then you get a really sticky body for an L. So I think this card uh, has more potential there. Then we've got Charlotte Pudding. Uh, this is a 3 2, 1000 power on play. You may add the top card of your life to your hand, sub to one of your three cost or less Big Mom Pirate type characters as active. So this lets you restand. So if you did like a big swing, you can restand. Uh, it does have to be a three or less, so you're pretty much stuck with like Peckums, uh, Pero Sparrow, something like that. So uh, not great, but trigger you can rest up to a three cost or lower. Again, not great, just because the limitations on the three. And then, of course, we have Big Katakuri. This card's actually phenomenal. Uh, just because, so it's a 5-6. He's a blocker. And he's got counter. So he's a 5-6 blocker. So he also can't be rested by Amaru. And then activate main once per turn. You may turn the top card of your life face up. So you do have to be able to flip it face up to use his effect. It's not one where if it's already face up you can activate it again. Uh, but then you get to give your leader or up to one of your uh, characters up to one rested Don. And so you can play this on curve on 5. Flip your life face up. Attach one swing 7. Uh, which is very strong. Because then they're also establishing a blocker. And probably going to get a free block off. So, helps reserve the hand. 10 out of 10 card. And then, of course, yellow just doing yellow things. Again, this is Structure Deck 20. That's the Katakuri deck. Uh, you got your Big Mom on play. You may trash one card from your hand. Once again, yellow just getting everything. Your opponent chooses one. Your opponent discards two cards from hand. Or... Trash one card from the top of your opponent's life. So on six, they can make you trash. Then on eight, they can play trash mom, make you have a decision. Or you lose two cards. So they play this, establish a threat, remove a card from their hand, and you either lose two cards or you lose one life. So uh, they either get two cards or they get one. And it depends on where you're at. But this card, absolute menace in my opinion. Every time I see a big mom card be printed, I'm just like... How worse can it get? And then they make it worse. But 
Once again, kind of just doubling back to Blackbeard. You just, like, trash a card. You get nothing. I don't know. You get nothing. I don't know. I like it. I like it. I like it. But, yeah, absolute beast. I think this card is a yellow staple across all decks. So I give this a 10 out of 10. Let's go ahead and take one more look at the decks and just talk about if I would pick. Purple Luffy. Uh, I think yes. I think this deck's a buy. I think, again, like this is really one that you want to be buying at retail. Just because Purple hasn't really been showing a lot, but the cards are decent. Uh, so we, of course, will get to see how these play out in Asia before here to see if these really are something slash help out the meta. So uh, we will see, of course, uh, red purple law being super strong. Maybe, you know, the Zoro changes things and they start playing that Zoro. Who knows? I, I think the way it's built now, it's probably the best way. But just because Zoro doesn't search regular straw hats. But yeah. Then we, of course, got Smoker. I think Smoker, absolute buy. Uh, just because you get the Ice Ages, you get the Subarus. Brand new is decent. And then, of course, the new support, uh, specifically the Hina Tashigi. Smoker specific. I would love to see Smoker do something. I know people have been trying to get him to do something since he came out. There are a lot of Smoker believers. Uh, some people did see success with him, but not to the level I think that he deserves. Uncle Smokey is super cool. So, uh, But, yeah, I think this deck has a lot of value just because black cards and black decks are still relatively strong, even in OP08. And then, of course, Katakuria, anything yellow. I mean, they just give yellow the best cards out there. The Mom alone is probably going to carry the value, but you look at the regular Big Mom deck, they were like 40 bucks, something like that at one point, like at peak, like 30 maybe, but definitely way up there, and they started like restocking on the Bandai stores, kind of helped us out there. But yeah, it's the Six Mom, I think it's just worth it. The Katakuri is also a pretty strong evergreen yellow card and then of course a lot of people really like pudding pudding i feel like both those cards might have a place in it as well so yeah i think it's worth picking up but yeah let me know which decks in the comment below that you guys are picking up and if you could do me a favor if you found this content of value if you could hit the subscribe button it helps me out a ton and as always thank you so much for watching